hey guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to install samba on your ubuntu linux machine so basically samba is a free open source uh, software for linux by which you can easily transfer your files and folders also you can provide printing and file service to your all the clients to install and configure samba on your ubuntu machine just follow my steps so first of all you just need to open terminal for that you just need to go to show to application and open terminal after open terminal you just need to type the command to update your ubuntu machine the command is sudo space apt space update and press enter now press now type your uh, password of your ubuntu machine now i'll type to install samba for that you just need to type sudo apt install samba now press y and press enter now i'll create a directory means folder under my home folder so that folder basically i will share with other system so I will type over here mk directory means make directory space slash home slash your username in my case it is technology so I'll type technology then my folder name which is here shamba okay samba so this folder I will create under home directory so I'll press enter now if I'll go to my home directory files under home as you can see one samba share folder share samba folder created successfully so now what i'll do is i will copy this location so just select and right click copy and i'll open a uh, notepad or text pad text editor i will just paste that location over here okay now what i'll do is i will type the command is called sudo nano space slash etc sorry etc then samba then smb conf file so basically i will edit this smb.conf file now press enter and i have to press down arrow key from your keyboard so you have to um, go to the end okay so now here you just need to type shamba sure now i will give you all this command to my video description now type command space equals to samba on samba on ubuntu now path so i will copy this path from my uh, notepad and after that i will type over here space uh, equals to space then i will paste that location okay now i will type read space only equals to space equals to no and then browsable browsable equals to yes okay now i'll press ctrl and o together to write out so i'll press ctrl and o now as you can see it is showing like file name to write now press enter after that control and x button together press to exit this window so i'll press control x now i'll type the command is called sudo service smbd restart so basically the samba service i will restart with these commands sudo space service space smbd space restart now i'll add one rule on firewall which is sudo ufw and allow sorry allow then samba okay after that press enter so as you can see rule updated successfully now if i type sudo smb status you can sorry uh, sudo ufw status you can see the file is showing inactive so i'll enable the firewall ufw enable 
file is active so if i'll type status command so as you can see samba rules added on my firewall so now what i'll do is i will type uh, one command to uh, create username and samba password for that i just need to type sudo smb password passwd space minus a space then username in my case it is technology so i'll type over here technology and press enter now as you can see it is showing new smb password so i'll set any password like one two three you can set any after that retype your password and as you can see it is showing like added user technology okay so now i'll type the command to check the status of smdb smbd so the command is sm uh, sudo system ctl status then smbd now as you can see it is showing like active and running over here now i'll press uh, control and c to cancel this window now i'll go back to my windows system and i will show you guys on there so now here is my windows system as you can see so i'll right click on my my computer i'll click on add a network next then choose a custom network path then i will type slash slash now here i just need to put the ip address of your ubuntu machine so if you don't know your ubuntu machine ip address then two way you can check your ip address one is you can directly go here and go to add settings and if you'll we'll click on settings and here you can see your ip address another way is you just need to uh, install net tool for that you just need to type sudo apt install net minus tool tools okay now press enter after installation done you just need to type the command is called if config if we'll type this command it will show you the ip address of your ubuntu machine so now as you can see my ubuntu machine ip address is 192.168.0.160 so now i'll type that ip address over here 168 slash then i will click on browse and as you can see it is showing like uh, the system over here now here's the samba share folder i will click on folder and click on ok now next next then click on finish now here is the samba share folder now if i'll create any text document file like technology now on my samba server as you can see if i'll go under share samba folder as you can see technology txt file is showing over here so now you can easily transfer your file through samba another way you can access your samba file sharing server for that you just need to go to your run just go to your start menu and type run or else you can press windows press r button together from your keyboard now here you just need to type slash slash 192.168.0.168 then shambas here the folder name which are going to access and click on ok now as you can see it is open successfully if you found this video helpful then be sure that you give it a like comments and subscribe and that's it for now and i will see you on the next one till then bye bye take care